Example 13.1, comparing gravitational pulls. Compare the gravitational force exerted by Earth on you. So here's Earth. Here's you. With what? With A. That exerted by a person, person standing one meter away from you. Okay, so compare the gravitational force of Earth on you uh, with the gravitational force of between two people, basically, and that exerted by Earth on Pluto. Earth, Pluto. Okay, FG. So there's this, compare these gravitational forces. Well, um, the assumption in this one is using a person of a mass of 70 kilograms. Uh, well, first of all, we can use this idea here, right? M1, M2 over R squared. So notice here that the book doesn't say if G equals M1, M2 over R squared. No, it says it's proportional. Proportional. Okay? Proportional to M1, M2 over R squared. And then what we'll do is we will, f we will compute the the m1 m2 over r squared for this example we will compute that for this example and for this example and we will get their ratios to compare but but we can't say that fg equals that we know that there should be a constant here as well okay all right so so we start off with this right between you and the earth so there's your mass, for example, there's the Earth's mass, and there is the radius. Remember, when we're talking about using this uh, inverse square law, the assumption is that all of the mass of the Earth is concentrated at its geometric center, okay? Or center of mass, rather, uh, at its center of mass. Okay, so, and the assumption is that that radius is... 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. Okay? And so we get this value. So don't don't confuse this and say that this is a force. Okay? Uh, because we... It, because it's not... Okay, I know I'm hopping on. It's not Fg equals. It's Fg is proportional. Okay? And then for two 70 kilogram people... This was the second example... Um, you've got the first mass, the second mass divided by the radius squared. So you get this 4.9 times 10 to the 3. So all we can do, guys, is compare the, is to compute ratios. Okay? So we take this guy and we divide it by this guy. And we, so that's what they're doing here. Okay? 4.9. This is the and we find these ratios, and we can say that the gravitational force exerted between two people is this is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10 times smaller than that between a person and the Earth. Okay, very it's it's more than a billion times smaller than the force of Earth exert the gravitational force of Earth exerted on you. And then we, we can also do it between Earth and Pluto. There's the mass of Earth, the mass of Pluto, divided by the, the square of the radius. 2.3 times 10 to the 21. Again, we take that and we divide it by um, uh, the one that we calculated between you and Earth. And we see that it, the, the gravitational force between Earth and Pluto is 2.3 times 10 to the 8 times greater than Earth and you, Earth and me. Okay? So, good to have these ratios, to have these comparisons. Okay? So, you can read through this guy also to get some kind of conclusion. Okay? Okay?